Hey, good evening and welcome back. I'm Pastor Graves, youth and college pastor here at New Hope Baptist Church, where we are building faith and sharing love. Listen, I'm so excited you've chosen to worship with us for our midweek message for youth and young adults. It's a new month, which means that we have a new sermon series. And this month, we're starting a sermon series entitled Squad Up, in which we look at the importance of the church, the impact that the church has, not only on individuals, but also on the larger community, as well as the importance of the church. During this pandemic, we've seen time and time again, people saying that the church isn't as necessary as it once was. What's the purpose of the church? It's especially if I can be at home and I can just watch from my couch. Listen, the truth of the matter is we all need the church. We all need a community of people that care for us, that helps us and supports us and gives us a place to which we belong. And in short, we all want a community that feels like a family. And during the entirety of this month, we're going to cover that at, as we look at the importance of the word church and what that means and how it's so much more than just a building that we go to a couple of times a week. But we'll learn what life looked like for many of the earliest Christians and the impact of the church on their lives so that they were able to become the global church that you and I still benefit from today. Today, I have with us my friend Jose, who's going to share with us about the importance of all of us being a part of God's family. Give your attention to him as he shares with us a quick message about the importance of being a part of God's family. So we all want a squad, right? Like a place for all of us to belong. Of course we do, because that's exactly how we were designed. And God designed the church to help meet that need. Now, when you hear church, you might think building, preacher, event. But the church is so much more than that. It is community, a family. The earlier followers of Jesus needed help trying to figure out how to be God's family. And a guy named Paul wrote them a letter that we now call the book of Ephesians. And in chapter one, he made it really clear. The church is God's family, but it's not exclusive. We can all be a part of God's family. That's right, all of us are invited to join the family and that's good news. So, if you do not belong to God's family yet, you're invited. And if you do, are you helping others to know they belong too? Thank you, Jose. We appreciate it, man. God bless you. Listen, I'm so excited to be a part of God's family. And if you need to be a part of God's family, it's pretty quick. It's pretty simple. It's pretty easy. All you got to do is ask God into your heart. All you have to do is confess with your mouth, believe in your heart that God raised Jesus from the dead and you'll be saved. In being saved, you'll become a part of the greater body of Christ, which is the church. Our relevant question for this week is simply this. If you're a part of God's family, how can you make it easier for other people to join the squad? That's right. We often hear about how it's difficult to be a part of the church. They're judgmental. They want this. They don't want that. But we can do our individual parts in making it an easier, uh, more manageable process to become a part of of God's family. Today, I want to end by giving you this scripture to provide you with a little bit more context if you want to dig a little deeper. Our scripture for this week is Ephesians chapter 1 verses 1 through 23. And in this, we'll look at the importance of us being a part of God's family. Let's end with a word of prayer. Bow your heads, close your eyes. God, we thank you for this word. We thank you, Lord, that you allow us to be a part of your family, Lord, even when we don't deserve it. So Lord, help us to to reciprocate that. Help us to show others the importance of being a part of your family, God. Lord, we ask that you, oh God, would help us to be people who are concerned with other folks, not treating them as projects, but as people who are in desperate need of love from a Savior and a community that can help them grow, that can support them and care for them. God, as we leave this place, but never from your presence, we ask, Lord, that you bless us, lead us, guide us, and direct us. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Have a blessed week, y'all. See you soon.